Hello and welcome to another Crochet with Chris tutorial. I am your host Chris and today we're going to be learning how to do the magic circle. Now I'd like to point out that the, there are several different ways I've seen how to do the magic circle. This is just a demonstration of how I do it. Um, if, you don't, if you find it's a little too confusing or you don't like it, I'm sure you could search for other YouTube videos and you will find different variations of how people do the magic circle. The magic circle, as far as I know, is primarily used when you make Amis or the crocheted stuffed animals. I usually don't make those, um, however I do use the magic circle, especially when I make bolsters or if I am making crocheted buttons. So let's go ahead and get started. Normally when you do a crochet, you do a slip knot in your yarn and then you slide it onto the hook and you start crocheting. But that's not how the magic circle runs. This is what I do. I take, give myself a little leeway there on the tail and I have my three fingers and I hold the yarn with my thumb and then I wrap, whoop, I need more of a tail, don't I? <laughs> so, I hold this one in this, and then I wrap the yarn twice. So as you can see, when you look at the top of your hand, you will have three pieces of yarn. So I just drop that back, and then I pick up my hook. Then I slide the hook under the first two loops of yarn, grab the third, and pull it under the first two. Now it is still loose, so I kind of bring it up and then I do a quick single crochet in theory <laughs> to lock these two pieces together. And that's the start. So then you begin your pattern. It'll tell you whatever you're supposed to be putting in this circle. Um, for this demonstration I'm just going to put six single crochets which is usually what I do when I'm making a button. One. It's a little sloppy and hard to work with at first until you get used to it, but it is doable. Two. Three. That one's kind of sloppy. <laughs> Four. Five. Okay, so now I have, have six single crochets. Note, the first single crochet that you do to lock them together never counts in your pattern. I've never seen a pattern do this. I think if the pattern wants you to, it will explicitly tell you to. So never count that first single crochet when you're locking the loops together unless the pattern tells you. So now I'm going to pull up a bigger loop just so I don't pull my work out. I'm going to take this and turn it sideways. Make sure all my little stitches are pointing out. So what you have is the tail and two loops. Now usually it is the loop closest to you when you're holding the work like this. Um, I just test it a little bit, but you should be able to pull the loop sometimes with a little bit of force. And the other loop will start shriveling in. It will draw your work together somewhat in a U shape. So once you have that pulled nice and tight, now you grab the tail and pull it and it will take in the slack from that other ring. And then what you're left with is the tail, like normal, the loop where you're working, and the yarn that goes to the ball. And then what you do at that point, you'll see how tight that circle is. There's no opening. You follow the pattern. Usually you, you might do a join or you just might continue to crochet in the round. And it usually is like do two crochet in the first stitch because then you're going to increase that round up. And then of course once you have that done you have a circle. So just to show you again a little faster without all the explanation. Oh, I have a little knot now. <laughs> You hold the yarn over your fingers and go around twice so you have three loops. I hold the bottom loop with my little finger, slide my hook in, grab that first yarn loop, pull it through, do a single crochet to join, 
just to lock it all together. And then from this point, you put in however many stitches that the pattern calls for in whatever pattern the, the pattern calls for. I've seen shamrocks where you do a combination of double crochet and single crochet. Once you have all the stitches as explained in the pattern, crocheted into the loops, pull up a bigger loop from your working yarn, set that down, pull, try to get those a little untangled, <laughs> I use it's usually the one closest to you. Pull it to bring down the one loop, then grab the tail to pull down the second loop, and that is your magic circle. Thank you again for watching this tutorial. I hope it helps. If not, if you have any questions or comments, do leave them down below or uh, shoot me an email at creationsbychris at comcast.net. Have a great night, everybody.